हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच चैनल इन दिस चैनल इन डिफरेंट वीडियोस वी अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट डिफरेंट कर्व्स लाइक कोच कर्व कोस नो फ्लेक एंड आल्सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट फैक्टर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हिलबर्ट कर्व हिलबर्ट कर्व are named after the german mathematician david hilbert they were first described in 1891 hilbert curve also known as hilbert space filling curve is a continuous fractal space filling curve they are also fractals and are self similar so hilbert curve are also important characteristic is self similarity it is a variant of the space filling pano curves discovered by mathematician pano in 1890 application of the hilbert curve are in image processing especially image compression and dye theory now let's talk about hilbert curve generation procedures because hilbert curves also factors where procedures rather than equations are used to model objects the hilbert curves begin with initial square with a size 2 by 2 4 by 4 8 by 8 16 by 16 or any other power of 2 the generation of curves require successive approximation the basic element of the hilbert curves are cups a square with one open side or we say a u shape look at the image below the open side of a cup can be top bottom left or right also joins is the basic element of the hilbert curve a vector that join two cups or two u shape a join has a direction up down left or right in the first approximation of the hilbert curve we are dividing square into four quadrants so like this and then drawing the curve which connects the center points of each quadrant so in this uh sheet we first divide the square into the four quadrants and after that we join center point of each quadrant using u shapes or cups so this is the first approximation of hilbert curve so in initial the hilbert curve uh, hilbert curve is nothing but square and in first approximation we join the center point of each quadrant of square by u shape the second approximation will be for the subdivide each of the four quadrant of the square so this is the square in the second approximation subdivide each of the four quadrants so like this one row wise and column wise so for again in each quadrant we create or draw a new square and after that draw the curve which connects the center points of each this final subdivision before moving the next major quadrants so this diagram show us the first approximation that is initial one this is the second approximation and in second approximation for in initial square we again draw the one square so total in initial there is a single square after that there is a divide after the four quadrant 
and there is a again different first square that is single square in each cortex. So this is nothing but the second approximation of the Hilbert curve. The third approximation again subdivide each quadrant of a square and process continues. So this is the second approximation and this diagram show us the Hilbert curves first to third order. So this in red color this you show, show us the first order, this is the second order and this is the third order. So after all this discussion we will come to know that the curve is not getting overlap at any point. So this is the basic point and we all of us observe in first second and third approximation that not in a single point uh, this curve is overlap there is a no limit to this subdivision the curve fills the square so ideally the length of the hilbert curve is infinite with each subdivision the length increased by factor 4 so using all this discussion uh, we uh, discuss Hilbert curve topological dimension and uh, factor dimension. So, uh, topological dimension of the Hilbert curve that is dt nothing but dt equal to 1. So, topological dimension dt must be equal to 1. At each subdivision scale, yes, changes by 2. That is at every approximation, we are dividing plane into the four quadrants. But the length n of the curve changes by 4 at each subdivision we need 4 scale curves to form a original curve so that's why length n equal to 4 so for all of this uh, we say that uh, we know the formula that capital n that is length n equal to scale s raised to df what is df df is nothing but factor dimension so, n equal to 4, s equal to 2, 2 raised to df and so df equal to 2. So, factor dimension of Hilbert curve is 2. So, topological dimension dt equal to 1 and factor dimension df equal to 2 for the Hilbert curve. So, Hilbert curve is a line only but it is so folded that it looks like a 2D object. We observe one thing. We again we talk about U shape. Again we uh, see the second approximation, third approximation. Again we say that we conclude that this curve is not overlap. So Hilbert curve is line only. But due to this procedure, it is so folded that it looks like a 2D object, like U shapes or cups. So this is all about Hilbert curve. So before leaving, like this video, subscribe the channel, thank you.